Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a flip through of the Sweet Shop coloring book. <laughs> I got the Curiosity one and I had to go find this one. I found it on eBay at a really good price, so I picked it up. So we're going to do a little flip through of it. It's an older book. You may have seen some people color, especially this page here. It's the same kind of paper. It's kind of a cream color. Ivory, I guess. Not white-white, but a little off-white. Nice paper. And, of course, it's Sweet Shop, so all the pages in here are going to be kind of on the um, sweeter side. <laughs> Candies and other yummies to eat. This is shaped in a teapot. <laughs> they all open from the top. They are um, glued in, but they're also stitched. So they're not going to fall apart very easily. You can add water to these as long as you're careful. They're single-sided, so if you wanted to do them with your alcohol markers, you can as long as you put a piece of paper down behind the page you're working on so it doesn't bleed through. might want to put two or three or a plastic sheet if you have one. I get my plastic sheets from the dollar store in the kitchen center. Um, they're cutting sheets. For, like cutting your vegetables on. That's a cool one. These uh, do have a lot of detail in them but this dress ink is going to help me with that point. That's why I got the books, so I can do some inking. Kind of missing my inking. <laughs> that one's cool for Valentine's Day. All the little candies or cookies. Soda fountain. Cookie tray. That would have been good for Christmas. We pass around a cookie tray at night when we're unwrapping our presents. Get this down a little bit. Here we have got a Christmas page. So these are all your like your stockings filled with all the candies. <laughs> I remember when we used to be able to buy those. These are chocolate coins. Cadbury milk chocolate <laughs> poster over here in front of the candy cart. And then just a bunch of chocolates. Mr. Softy Ices, freshly made. <laughs> cute. That's a cute page too. And then we have a little selection of candies to get. A little scooper in there so you can scoop your own bags. Oh, well, that's a pretty page. Bubble gum. <laughs> so it's got a bunch of little doilies underneath there. Chocolates. A candle holder is holding chocolates. <laughs> yeah. Could be a candy holder for all I know. I don't eat much candy, but this looks like fun. I can't eat chocolate, so. <laughs> These are those. Uh, my grandmother used to get these the little candies. They're kind of soft, brightly colored. She put them out. Licorice types candies. And these are the chocolate covered fruits or the fruits you can put in to a chocolate fountain. Another thing I don't do. This one's cute. All the bonbons. we got biscuits, cocoa, a little box full of yummies, milk chocolate, like peppermints, you can do some red, some pink, some green. That's cute too. Nice little box full of cookies. Mm, something. 
more bonbons, merry-go-round in the background, bubblegum <laughs> machines, <laughs> Easter with all the different eggs, uh, yes, and the towered um, croakenbush, I'm not sure if that's right, Valentine's Day again, it's like a box of chocolates, Rainbow humbugs. I'd have to look up a humbug. I don't know what they are. I love this page. I have it marked. That's going to be the first one I color. We might even color it today. <laughs> These are those um, tall little cookies that have cream in them or they're chocolate filled stamped on the inside. Wow, that could be a colorful page. All these colored different. And then the end of the book. We're just going to go back to this one. And I'm going to get out some ink and we will start in on it. Okay, I got out a lot of different colors. This jar here looks to be like um, full of different colored candies. So I brought out the teeny ones, which I love to work with. We've got like an orange, a couple of greens. This one might not be bright enough. Uh, blues, pinks, yellow. <laughs> we have uh, these are probably the same. There we go. A couple of different pinks. I think that looked cute in that jar. So we're gonna do that. On that, this looks more like a cookie jar, biscuits. I don't know. This is gonna be kind of a gray silver color. Um, along with this, we have some wood in the background here and some. Um, these would be cute in pink and black. Maybe I'll save that pink for over here. We'll do that. Um, we'll do the orange for the little duty dops in here and the keys to make them kind of look a gold. Biscuit's going to be uh, kind of in between the scattered straw and the tea dye. I brought in some blues and some... I love this color. Maybe I'll do one of the lollipops in that. And yeah, countertops, not sure. Something in that line. Um, I have an antique linen that I can do on something. Maybe the envelopes. Bundled sage, it's an oxide because I just love that color. Uh, brought out hickory smoke, which has a little brown tone to it, so I may not use it. And black soot to make the silver here. And I brought out my favorite combination, um, which is Victorian Velvet and Aged Mahogany to do something in a uh, reddish color. Yeah, doesn't help you out much, does it? I'm just giving you colors. I pulled them all out and we're going to use the um, uh, Detail Mini uh, Detail Brushes. These are the detail ones. These are the mini ones. I'll try to leave a link down below. I don't know if I did that on the last one I said I was going to do it on. Anyway, I have these in a whole bunch of different colors and um, they are washable if you want to wash the color out. Let them dry for at least 24, 48 hours before you start using it again. Distress ink is water-based. If you have water on the sponge, it will do an interesting thing. You don't want that to happen if you want a smooth inking color. That one will work good with those. All right, so we're going to take a blue for him. Um, what else do we have here? We have a green that we can use for that guy. I need one that is open on the other end, which is this one for, like, the pink. I do have a green one over here. So we can do that for the greens. And do we have an orange one? Mm -hmm. We can use that for the brown. All right, we're going to start on the jelly bean jar. So I know this is just a little bit bigger, but we're just going to, in fact, we'll color that one in because this one has enough ink on it. Boom, our jelly beans colored. So we're just going to go through and do that. This is a um, probably mermaid lagoon color or a 
a blue of some sort. This is more of a turquoisey color. Remember when you're doing um, inking that the color will go on darker and dry lighter. So you can make it darker by going over it again. We're also going to use some pencil in here. But I wanted to use some <laughs> ink. <laughs> Just add some blues in there. Okay, got the blues. We can add some greens. This is Twisted Citron. It's going to be a nice bright color, but I do have some ink on this that might darken it up. It's a nice bright color. Maybe they're gumballs. I don't know. They're just round circles, so they're jelly beans or something. Little hard round candies. We'll get uh, this one. Cracked pistachio. And we'll just tap some of that off. And bring in that color. Just kind of putting the green closer to the blues. Just because they are the same family. This one here is um, Kitsch Flamingo. I need a pink. I'm not going to work with that one. It's a bright pink. We'll put that over here. So how's it going at your guys' place? We are um, in a snow area right now. <laughs> we got some snow on Christmas Day. And it just hasn't um, stopped. So if you hear any tires going wee, it's because they can't make it up the hill. We already have an abandoned truck in front of our house. I'm going to use a clean one here. This color is Carved Pumpkin. It'll be a nice bright orange. And if you mix it with the other colors, you'll get a cool <laughs> cool blend. Did we do the mustard seed yet? Nope. Okay, we'll get some of that orange out. I'm just dabbing it on a washcloth. We'll pick up the mustard and put that in there. And it's great to help blend out the greens, the blues. It'll change those guys' colors. And it works really well with the pink, too, and the orange. So the yellow is going to be our blender, almost. There we go. One none. <laughs> Uh, while we have the yellow on here, I'm going to just go over the keys a little bit. Okay, a little of these little guys that come down here. It's kind of a wash of color and this handle. I don't know if you saw all that. I just did the handle down here, and the keyhole can get some too. All right, anything else that I want to add a little yellow to? We have these stars, so we'll just tap that on there. Boom. And um, since it's so light, we'll add a little bit in this cookies here, biscuits, whatever they are. 
Boom, boom, boom. These are the same as those, so we can get those the same color. So we have the yellow going across the page. All right, let's get those colors. We're gonna bring in the pink, and we're gonna do these little bags back here. So we just grab, um, this is a uh, picked raspberry, so it's gonna be a little different than the pinks in here. It'll be a little brighter. So we're just going to do all those bags the same. Okay. Let me throw a few of those over here. Just push it down a little bit. Do a little better than that. I've got sticks under here. There we go. Put one over here. This should be a glass jar. You should be able to see some of those popping through there. All right. All right, um, these cookies, let's see, that should be a little darker. I wonder what color that is. Go with gathered twigs and get a brown one. Go. Just gonna lightly put in brown in here. Kind of goes zigzag. The cookies are going to have some darker spots on them. Then we can lighten them up with the pencil. Darken them up. Kind of goes all the way down. That's kind of weird. Maybe it's just a decorated now because it's clear. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> we'll do the cookies down here too. I even leave the book up so you can see these cookies. We're just going to do it in the same way, kind of darken some areas, make sure they have color on them. Okay, we're going to take a little of this gathered twigs and we're just going to go down the side of this jar. Give it a curved look. Okay, what else can we turn? Just add a little of this on one side of those keys. Down at the bottom of that. Up on top of the keys. Okay, that works. Good for that. And the black one. We start off with some black soot. We're going to dab it and we're going to munch some of that off. We don't want a whole bunch of it. Going to go in the dark areas. that area of the shadow. Down on the 
dry. Okay, we do a little of that on this too. sticky note when you do that. <laughs> it might look funny if you don't. <laughs> okay. There we go. Little shadow over here. underneath the keys. And then up here on the top. go. Lid for that. I like, um, did we do this color over there? I don't know. Savage Patina. We're going to use that. We're going to do this little housey thing over here. Need some green on it page. Make this bowl green. It's holding something. Uh, the eraser green on the pencil. And we do have green in here. And we'll make a um, lollipop up here. Green. We'll add another color in there, like a blue. Just throw a little bit of this in here. Sapphire that I want in there. No. Make a jelly bean darker here and there. There. I'm going to do this up here. Okay, add a little in the house over here. Put a little in here too. We have to do the counter back here, so we're going to go in with some scattered straw. I need a new topper for that. Oh, 
should have one. Oh, we used one of the dome ones. Okay. That covered in there. Just going to go around and add it on the counter. Go over the envelopes. My desk isn't long enough for this book. The counter goes all the way up to about this book. Hey, hold on a minute. Anyway, <laughs> I've got to put a little line that goes up here. Countertop is right about there. So we're going to ink up to there. Just pull that ink up a little bit. Okay. Now the wall up here is going to be more of wood. Put that gathered twigs back. Pick up any tool. It doesn't matter as long as it's not too funny colored. Got ink over here. We're just going to put a little there and a little over here. Maybe we'll do that blue too. I don't know. Okay. Shadow around these jars underneath them. You can do that with pencil too. We're going to get that little piece there. That's going to be a blue window. Not sure about that. We'll make it brown. It looks like it's in a shelf. get out the brown or blue the light blue <laughs> that's really dark blue maybe we won't put any ink on it see if we can pull some blue down into our glass jars it's got a little purple in it too that's fine window here and the window back in here A little on this guy a little back here. The colors that are on this are just um, blue tones that I have in my inking thing. So it's probably the chip sapphire and um, what's the other blue I like so much? The uh, broken china. Okay, um, I think we can do these with. Uh, pencil because they're a little more ornate and while we're here and the ink has not um, dried too much we're going to erase a little of that 
out of all the glass. So you can go with the stripe that comes down over the glass. It's very light. You can probably see it better than I can. But we're just adding in a little highlight in those. We'll also add that in with a white pencil when we get there. Okay? Anything that you don't like, you can also leave, get a quick erase out of if you want. Uh, I like the bleeding effect. It adds to the shading and it doesn't matter to me. Might to you. Okay, so um, I'm going to get out some polys and uh, we'll work on this. A little okay, bit. when doing this step, all you need to do is pull out a color that will um, either blend or accent the colors that you have down. So if we have pink, we just want to go in and grab a pink. You could grab a pink from any color set. Uh, Prismas, anything. This one happens to be a fuchsia. Prismas got a nice bright pink. Holbein's have got a beautiful pink. I mean, <laughs> what you're just doing is adding just a little bit of extra color in here. So you can do it with any pencil set you have. We didn't get all the way down, so we're just going to add some of that up. Kind of darken it where you want it darker. This is a, a bag that's kind of folded here, so I'm going to put a little, little line and bring that up and down from that so it looks like it's folded there like this side. And we're just darkening it in some areas and leaving it light in others. Accents. That's all I needed. Okay, this one should have been pink, so we'll just go lightly in there. And we'll add some of this over here in a jelly bean. So pick the lightest ones and just add a little more color to them. Or hard candies, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I don't know what they are. But they should have a little more color to them. So we have the pink there, the pink here. And um, I'm going to put a little at the tip up here at this pencil. I'm going to make a pink pencil. Okay, anything else? Those look like sugar cubes or something. I'm not sure what they are. Um, candy cane. We'll use this color for the candy cane. Pick a stripe and pull it down and go every other one. There we go. And I need some pink down here. There's and these cookies, maybe they're jam filled. So I'm going to put a little pink in here. Could be frosting, who knows. I need some pink in here, so I'm just going to put some pink in here. Okay, that's good. Leave that out so I know which color I use. So I could put it in the description box. Um, we'll need a blue. Accent some of this blue stuff. I'm going to bring in an indigo. So I want to darken it up up here. And on that side. Okay, that blue. The blue over here. A little of the blue on this side. And on this side. Bring 
put some of that down in here. shadow on it from the other jar. We'll throw some of this blue in some of these. Okay. We can bring in a brighter blue. About the light cobalt turquoise. I said that well, didn't I? <clears throat> I'm going to add in that color too. It goes well over the greens and the yellows. So I'll just pick a couple and stick it in. Okay, we're going to take that and put it up in here. Every other one. There we go. This plate or bowl. Add some in here. bit on here too. A little down in here. Brighten that up a little. And then you can use any flat edge you have. Another pencil even if you want. You can add some lines in here. for a shine. Okay. Could do that up here too. The nice thing if you're doing it with a pencil, you can just roll it and your lines are going to stay the same. <laughs> just add some in there. Okay. And lightly color that glass in. And we'll do the same up here. I'm drawing all over the other page up there, but that's all right. Get up here. Okay, then we'll color in this lightly. Okay, if you think you got it too light or too um, whatever, dark is the word I'm looking for, go into your eraser and it will help you put in those lines we didn't see before. Okay. Just like that. If you want to make a highlight here, make it. Get the pencil out of the other things you don't want it in. There we go. We can do that over here too since we put the pencil in. Highlight some other areas. There. Okay. Now we're going to take this uh, light blue and go down the 
class a little bit with it. a little of that in there too if I haven't already which I probably did okay um, we need a bright green light green <laughs> we'll throw some of that in here some of that in this little lollipop thing tiny bit in the glass okay we're going to use this for the ribbon base for it so we'll stick some of that color in there I want it brought over and maybe for the label that's not a label doesn't have any words on it and in here just to brighten that up okay Gonna get a cool gray. And this one's number two. Gonna add some other details in here. This should be raised, so we're not gonna color that, but color around it. Gonna get out brown ochre. Gonna go around the keys. Pick one side and kind of do it on all of them. Okay, and then the little pull that comes out. Ok, 
Okay, a little handle down here. Key, and this is going to be like a brass plate back here, so we'll put that color on that. Okay, up here, do the same thing where it's dark, pull some of that down. some of that in the stars too. Those are wood, so we're going to add some lines in there. Be a knot or two. System label <laughs> and we'll go up and add some shadow in the bow. Can deepen your pink too. didn't get the ink in here. And give that some shadow too. And now we're going to work on the cookies a little bit, or the biscuits. Pick a side, add some color. Okay, the cookie that's behind should get a little more shadow. Cookie that's in front needs to stay lighter. It'll get a little shadow in it, but not as much. Okay, just go around and do that. Go right over the other ink that shadowed the other cookies. Just to give it A little dimension for cookiness. I don't know what these are. They look like sugar cubes. Why not? Sugar candies of some sort, so I'm going to leave those alone. I'm going to go down to the pencil. Add some color into that. Some color and shading into the envelopes. <laughs> I do laugh at the people who want to get out in the snow, drive their cars. It doesn't seem like a very good idea. 
to me. Okay, these cookies are going to get down the same way. We're going to find an area and darken the bits. If anybody has any idea what these are, leave it in the comments section down below. Oh, I'm just pretending they're cookies. Some kind of sweet. They could be chocolates. I don't know. don't buy chocolate. I buy some chocolate for like my mom. She likes chocolates. But I just go into her. We have a, um, a chocolatier in our store in town, in town. I just go in and say something with caramel, something with <laughs> nuts and have them pick it out. I could take my kids down and have them pick it out. They can eat it. Okay, just something like that. Get a variation in it. We'll bring in other colors too. If these are chocolates, we want them a little darker, but... Cookies in the background are even darker, so just put a little more pressure on those. Get them darker brown. And any spaces that you don't know what it is, darken it. Because it'll be in the background, a cookie behind there, or whatever. And it'll help you. Some of these don't even have areas to color. There we go. And I wouldn't know why they would go all the way down, but they do. It's a little brown back down there. Okay, that gives it a little more depth. We'll get a darker color and even shape that up a little bit more. We'll do these a little lighter. Same with the cookies down in the bowl. You can't see the bowl, so we'll do that later. And these areas that are the darker behind things. Just want to darken them. Give them a shadow. Okay, that bowl needs to be darker too. I don't know if you can see that, it's down too low. All right, that one stays out. Bring a little yellow ochre in here. The uh, gathered straw is just a darker version of yellow ochre. So <laughs> yellow ochre goes over really nicely to give it shade, shadows, texture. 
Okay, brighten these cookies up with a little of that. I'm going to throw it down here. It's the same cookies. We're just going to put some in. Just to brighten those up too. Okay. I'm going to put some in here too. old piece of paper. We can put a little cracks in it. A little up here. And a little up in this. deeper red and put it in our pink candy cane just a little bit up here um, this is what burnt carmine in our jelly beans too. I need to get a yellow in these jelly beans. Um, if I can get it down here to this cookie, we'll darken this. some of this up here just so they match a little bit. We'll have to bring the pink in too. Brighten those up and we'll get a dark sepia. And we're going to really make um, these areas a little darker in here. to do blue over there. It's funny now we got snowmobiles going up and down. The hill. <laughs> Figured we can go down in our car.
Okay, we're going to go back in with the other color I had. Well, maybe a different color because I'm not going to find that color. <laughs> Raw umber. Pick a couple of these and just darken them up a little bit. Just fiddle with it until you like the cookie. Or whatever they are. <laughs> really should have figured out what they are first. We're making them cookies. Oh boy. Just shadowing the ones down at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to add just a little tear there. Some of that in the wood up here too. Alright, let's see. I'm going to put a little black and go around in this area here. Darken up some of this, leave some places raised up. We 
just kind of going over the black because it's um, gray now. <laughs> If you give some of these shadows, they'll automatically look like they're raised up. Darken a little bit more here underneath the keys. Go over that black and just bring it down a little bit. raised shadow them underneath go darken it right here pull it out a little it's a button too go under it and give it a shadow and the same in here Go under some of these and darken it up. Just figure out where you want to have it dark and what you want raised, what you think looks good. And then you can darken up in here too. Okay. We want to darken underneath the drawer pulls out here. So that's a shelf. Just around that across there. Behind that one, corners always are dark. At least in my book, <laughs> they might have some highlight on them, but I darken them. Okay, I want to darken just under there. Make sure we have a little shadow on our key. And darken where it's supposed to be dark, or at least where they have their shadow lines.
Okay. And we still have some of these um, lollipops to do. Uh, we have purple in here? No, nope. we're going to bring in some purple. Violet. We're going to do a lollipop in violet. They're very similar. We're going to do both of them in violet. I don't know if those are holes. Get our little violet in here for the glass. We're going to make some of these violet. bring in purple, um, blue violet. <laughs> We're gonna shadow these up. Purple in there too. jelly beans. go over there. How are we doing? I'm going to grab a little green gold and stick it in here too. Brighten it up a little bit. Just kind of adding it where everything is that's brown. Nope, we're not going to put them in there. Ah, I need a yellow, a bright yellow. you're gonna work. That's you. Cadmium yellow, that's a good one. And we need to brighten up some of these jelly beans with a little of that. Did we put in a bright bright green? keys, some of them a little up here, 
want to bring that yellow over so we're just going to brighten up some areas with that yellow it'll look nice in that green and the stars here bows and then a little in here just in here now it's just a scratch we'll throw a little in the cookies and we'll color whatever these are in them there okay yep now what I'm gonna do it's an old-fashioned kind of picture I'm gonna go around and put um, sticky notes around here and we're gonna go in and darken the corners coming up and throw some uh, little spots with my stamp so okay got out a vintage photo and a little bit of walnut I also have tumbled um, twigs over there gathered twigs I'm just gonna go in with the um, vintage photo and I'm gonna go around the edges here and deepen the color here okay that includes on the window especially in the corners going all the way down don't know if you can see the bottom corner but I'm doing the same thing I did at the top but the bottom corners bringing it out into the page okay now vintage photo is kind of a reddish toned color gathered twigs is more of a light brown I'm also going to bring in you know what? Maybe some corduroy. Um, some brushed corduroy. In the corners here. Bring it in like... Mm, you know some areas on the sides but mostly in the corner bet I got some down there <laughs> maybe on the envelopes a little bit right where we have that seam okay and then we're going to bring in some walnut I'm using the same inking pad for all of these colors this one's just going to go where I want it the darkest Okay. Right there. Throw some in the wood there. Okay, lid for that. Now we're going to take our gathered twigs here, my itty bitty background stamp that's just going to do a little dots. I'm going to put the dots.
where the wood is and where the countertops are. Maybe in those cookies too, since we don't know what they are. <laughs> Little in this paper. There we go. Little up here. Okay. I'm going to take a little more of that um, blue, that lighter blue. I'm going to go with uh, Mermaid Lagoon here. I'm putting it on this blue ink pad. It'll be blue. We're going to just go very lightly, barely putting any pressure on this in our window. On our jars, just to lighten them up a little. In here, throw a little of that light blue on that also. Kind of pulling it up in the way these things go. There's a pen in here. I'm gonna lighten that with a little blue. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna pull off as soon as I find all lid for that. All these green things. <laughs> and show you what it looks like. I did get that little corner, but that's okay. Boom. If there's any spot that you need to, just bring in one of your brown pencils and fill it in. Uh, you can go with light and then dark. Where's a darker one? Go. Just blend it and you can pull that color in too. like it was an inked dark piece. Any place you want darker or any place that you missed the line you can go ahead and do this with. Any extra little shadowy marks you want to put in, go for it. But I am done. I'm going to darken that a little bit there. Just around that edge. I'll do is I'll take a picture and put it at the end of the video. I don't know if I can get this up high enough. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you want to brighten anything, add yellow to it. If you want to darken anything, you can add a brown to it, but this will brighten everything up. I liked the uh, effect I got with the um, ink, but that's me. You didn't have to do that part if you didn't want to. You don't have to ink if you don't want to. <laughs> I just have fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one as I continue to play. <laughs> Take care everyone. Bye now.